where he followed. Good. Come in. Follow me. I am Alexis Varga, and this is my lover, Naomi Blackmore. Have I told us all about your predicament, so we know what you need and we can help? That's right. You can be safe here. However, we have one stipulation. Nothing to worry about, as I am sure you won't have a problem accepting our terms. Of course. Nothing in this world comes for free, and if you want to ensure you remain free from those that are pursuing you, well, if you scratch our backs, we will scratch yours. <laughs> no, we don't need your cash. Look around. Do we look like we need your cash? Nah, it's something a little more unique. You see, we can guarantee you won't be found. This is not a problem for us, but if the cops turn up asking questions, or heaven forbid, if we get a visit from Lady Felina's man, then we will have to hide you. We expect that if the cops turn up, they will have a warrant to search these premises, and if Lady Felina's man turn up, well, they won't be bringing any paperwork. So the best way to hide you, if such an event occurs, is in plain sight. So this is the deal. If you want to avoid capture or arrest, then you do exactly as we say, and you do it without complaint. No hesitation, no questions. You do what, what we want, where we want, and now we want. Obviously, if you're an age on this deal, then we will have no choice but to deliver you to the cops, or Lady Felina herself. Naturally, that choice is ours to make. However, if you comply with these terms, no one will find you here. I don't think you realize how lucky you are. This kind of deal is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's not every day that someone like you gets to be protected by two stunning, powerful, and wealthy women. We don't fucking waste our time with fools. I say we should call Lady Felina. Come now, Naomi. We can both see the desperation in these one's eyes. Things can be so much better for you if you just accept our offer. So, do we have a deal? Good. You have made a very wise decision. Now, if you will be so kind as to relinquish your driving license, your credit cards, your phone and your passport to us, this is non-negotiable. Part of this deal requires you to have a new identity, and so we can't be leaving any clues that can identify you. Excellent. Now, there are certain specifications you need to be aware of. When you address us, you shall use our titles. So you shall address me as Mistress Alexis, and you shall address my lover as Mistress Naomi. When we have guests, you shall address me as Mistress Varga, and you shall address Naomi as Mistress Blackmore. This is essential in order to retain a professional appearance if we have guests, invited or otherwise. We said no questions. However, on this occasion, <laughs> we feel your question is a fair one. You see, while you are here, you will be our servant. You will be on call 24 hours a day, whenever, wherever, and however we need you. It is not uncommon for ladies of our social standing and exceptional breeding to have domestic stuff, and this will contribute to your new identity. We well, have yet to decide upon a name for you, but this will come in time. So for now, we shall refer to you as servant. Or slave. Whatever suits the occasion. Is there a problem? I didn't think so. Time to demonstrate that you are coming to terms with your new identity. You will kiss Mistress Naomi's boots. One kiss per boot. Obedience is such an attractive quality in a servant. Now you will kiss mine. Mistress Naomi, if you would do the honors. Stay down, servant. I have a gift for you. The 
There, it's official. You're wearing our color, so now you belong to us. Get to your feet, slowly. What do you think, Mistress Alexis? Yes, the color fits perfectly. <laughs> nice and tight. Now, what do you say? Thank you, who? Good. No time like the present. Mistress Alexis and I would like a drink. Pour us a glass of wine and fetch my cigarettes. The wine is in the kitchen, and my cigarettes are on the coffee table. Get to it, servant. Well, Mistress Alexis, I think we're going to enjoy this one. Indeed, Mistress Naomi. You can see how reluctant it was kissing our boots. And once you colored it, well, nothing turns me on more than having an inferior under our control. I love the sense of power. Invigorating, isn't it? We could have so much fun with this one. Really fuck with his head. Do you want to play good cop, bad cop? Or shall we play cat and mouse? Oh, I have something else in mind. Something a little more humiliating. <laughs> yes. There's nothing quite like humiliating a supplicant. Especially when they have no fucking choice but to take it. So what did you have in mind? Ah, uh, a little pet play would be an excellent way to help our servant settle in. And then who knows where the mood would take us. How do you feel about having a cat or a dog? Oh, I'm more of a cat lover. So let's make this one our new dog. Well, that way we can punish it as a part of its training. Perfect, <laughs> darling. Absolutely perfect. I can hear our new dog quickly relax. Let's see if our slave has forgotten anything. Well, you have the one and mistress and all my cigarettes? Good. Then what are you waiting for? Pour out a glass each. Now light my cigarette. Did you leave the kitchen in good order? Say yes, Mistress Naomi. I shall go and check the kitchen, Mrs. Naomi. In the meantime, servant, you shall await Mrs. Naomi's instruction. You have much to learn, servant. In our employ, we expect nothing less than perfection. Tell me, servant, does my cigarette bother you? Oh, you don't smoke. Well, looks like I'll have to change your mind. <laughs> oh, does that make your eyes water? Did it sting, perhaps? <laughs> In time, you will learn how to retain your composure. But if you flinch again, I might just have to take my crop to your rear, just to remind you of your place. Now, let's try that again. That's better. Still, we have all the time I want to make sure you do not embarrass me. Mistress Alexis has a wonderful eye for detail. If she notices anything out of place in the kitchen, she will not be happy. And if she is not happy, then I am not happy. You look scared. Hmm, I like that. I find it to be an attractive quality in a servant. Perhaps you fear how Mistress Alexis will respond to what she has found. Or perhaps you simply fear the power we have over you. Not knowing what we are capable of, and yet with your freedom and your life in our hands, leaves you so vulnerable, so dependent on our satisfaction. Well, Miss was Naomi, it seems this one had forgotten to close the fridge correctly. If I hadn't taken the time to check, our food and drink would have been ruined. I think it's time to show our new servant how we deal with such a slack approach to our commands. Kneel, servant. 
I said fucking Neil. <sighs> Perhaps our new servant should be treated like a dog, Mistress Alexis. Only a dog would leave a fridge door open. Yes, Mistress Naomi. A big dog needs to be punished if they are to learn how to behave correctly. Well, this one has not urinated, so we can't rub its nose on it. So why do we show this one what happens if our food is ruined? Yes, Mistress Alexis. Let's see how well our new dog copes with bad food. You see that ashtray doggy? Well, that's your dinner. <laughs> no hesitation. Remember, we can easily deliver you to your enemies. Now, do as you are told and eat it. That's right, doggy. Eat your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Dog is crying. And all the dash is getting stuck to its face. <laughs> we didn't say stop. You have to finish it all up. Good doggy. Perhaps you need something to wash that down. Mistress Alexis, would you like to offer our dog something to drink? My pleasure, Mr. Snowmi. Look at me, doggy. I said, look at me. <laughs> Did this stink? Good. Now go into the kitchen and watch your filthy face. And when you've done that, we want you to look at the fridge to remember what you have done wrong. Then come back immediately on your hands and knees. <laughs> Did you see the look on our servant's face? Priceless. We shall sure reward our new dog if its face is clean. What do you recommend, Mistress Naomi? Maybe we should let our dog curl up at our heels while we talk about what we plan on doing to it, as part of its training. Oh, yes, sewing the seeds of fear and discipline will really nice our position. After all, once we tame this beast, we can make it do anything we want. <laughs> Alexis, darling, I will have it sit between us. On the floor, of course. We wouldn't want it molting on the couch. <laughs> Why don't you give it a smack or a kick every now and then, just to keep it on its toes, so to speak? <laughs> Come, doggy, crawl to your mistresses. Now, let us look at you. Thank goddess I am wearing my gloves, Mistress Alexis. I wouldn't want to catch anything, and we haven't given our new dog its jabs yet. Perhaps we should have our vet check it out. Mm, well, it looks clean. What did you curl up at our heels, Ducky? Well, we decide what we call you. Oh, that's it. Wag your tail. Mr. Snowman and I are talking, so no barking. Mistress Alexis, I was thinking perhaps we should consider placing this one in quarantine for a while. We have no medical records as of yet. And neither of us know where it's been. Yes, Mistress Naomi, you make a good point. We could lie lies with Ava and see what she can tell us about its history. But it's best to be safe. What do you think, Ducky? Would you like a week or two in quarantine? <coughs> Mistress Naomi asked you a question. No, you wouldn't like that? Well, <sighs> let's see how well you cope with your training. I was thinking we should decide whether we want a guard dog or just some cute little house pet. You know, something our guests can enjoy when they come over. I have some old toys for my last ducky. Perhaps you could let this one play with them. Something for it to chew in when it's in heat. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I think we should retire for the night, Mistress Naomi. Good idea. We could use an early night, especially as tomorrow will be such a busy day. Well, doggy, it's time to show you to your bed. Follow us. Well, here it is, your new room, doggy. Ah, uh ha, -huh ha, -huh. you don't get to sleep in a room. You see that cage? That's just for you. Get in. I said, get in. I have the perfect name for this one, Mr. Naomi. We shall call our new doggy, Kelebra. <laughs> Do you know what Kelebra means, doggy? It means bad 
Dog, and if you're such a bad dog, then you don't deserve a proper dog bed. So you better start liking your cage. Otherwise, we might have to muzzle you as well. Slip tight, Calabra. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> 